Howdy, everybody. Uh, we are going to work on the Super XL 130 today. Um, we are going to start working on the process, getting ready for porting. Hopefully. Depends on the cylinder, because we got scoring in the piston, you remember? But for the new folks, uh, we are going to port a Super XL Auto here coming up soon. And a lot of the people on the channel have their own Super XL Auto. They're going to do it right along with me. Um, I'm going to give them the opportunity to ask questions and so forth. But it's kind of going to be like a classroom situation. So anytime you see a video that says porting class, that's what we're doing. I will put the video describing this process and what we're going to do in the description. So that after you're done watching this, you can go on down there, click on that, and you'll get to see what we're getting ready to, to do. Alrighty. But uh, if you have your own Super XL Auto and you want to learn some porting, this might be your opportunity. Alrighty. Thanks. So I just got done doing some cleaning and I'm running into an issue. The uh, fuel filter took a butter knife. I had to take a butter knife down in there and pry at it to get it out. And it's pretty gooey in there. But it looks like I got most. There's one little pocket of gooeyness still down in there. I think before I actually do try to fire it, I think I'm gonna do a little bit of more soaking. I think I got enough out of there that would probably be fine. There's not much left, but I might as well try to get more, you know? But up to point now, I can work on trying to figure out some numbers. But 100, 106 degrees on the exhaust. I'm surprised. I was expecting a little better than that. So I'm gonna check the duration. Um, so it's currently at 106. Let's see how long she's open. So our duration sitting at 148. I'm not really too concerned about these numbers right now. I just wanted to get these figures because I'm going to do a base casting delete. So I'm going to go through and get these numbers again once the cylinder is off and I get that base gasket out. I'll have to put it back together and do these numbers again. But at least I know where I'm starting. I'm at 106 on the exhaust and 148 duration. So time to move on and get this cylinder off and figure out what we're going to have without the base gasket because those are the numbers that we're going to use. Alrighty. So, with 37 thousandths of quit squish, 106 exhaust, and 148 duration, I'm going to be able to turn this thing up. So, this thing should run really well. Uh, as soon as I get the cylinder off, though, we got to check because we still don't know if this thing scored. There's definitely damage on the piston. We still don't know if we have a viable cylinder. So, once we get that far, we'll know. I got it unbolted. Let's see what happens. It's off. So, it actually looks worse now. It's off. It's piston. Damage is worse than, I don't think we're gonna have a viable cylinder. <sighs> Let's find out.
Let me get a rag and clean this up. I'll tell you, the base gasket is paper thin. Okay, let me give you a close up the uh, of the piston. Alrighty, so here's what we were looking at initially. That's the uh, exhaust side. This side of it looks pretty good. But right there's where the exhaust port sat. But look what happens as we turn it around. This is all up on the intake side. Now, let's look at the cylinder. Here's our exhausts. Here's where our transfers are. They're all good on this side. We're good there. So it's just this little bit of scuffing here. And I can tell you, if I rub it with my finger, it feels almost smooth. It's close. So there's our damage. So now the question is whether or not I can make this better. You know, keel it. Um, this is going to take a little bit, so we'll, we'll find out in a second. <laughs> so here's what she's looking like right now. I think we can make that run. I got a little bit more I can touch, but up along this side. You think I can get that to run? I think I can get that to run, don't you? Um, I think I'm gonna call that a day. It's like midnight. So we'll catch you on the next time. Uh, don't forget to subscribe because we got some cool, interesting projects coming. Alrighty, thanks, later.